If you're going to build yourself into a diamond, into a machine, into an amazing sort of vehicle that you're going to be on the field. Yo, 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 what's going on, Team Twitter? I hope you're all super well. Today is a heavy day at the gym. I would say I'm somewhat looking forward to it because I don't mind the gym, it's okay, but when you really put a lot of load through your legs, through your arms, your whole body, you kind of feel it the next day a little. So over this sort of Christmas break between now and my next trial, one of my big focuses is nutrition and the gym, getting up to that 67, 68, 69, 70 kilo mark and seeing whereabouts I'm best. Of course, I need to maintain my speed, maintain my ball skills and all that sort of stuff. So I don't want to be too heavy, but I do need to be slightly heavier. And man, even just that extra couple of kilos, I feel so much stronger. For example, the other day at training, this guy had the ball who was like about here. I've come around to win the ball off him. And I would say this guy is somewhat strong, decent sized player. And he's seen me coming, so he's gone to brace himself. And I've come through from this side, bang, step my foot down, contact with here, completely legal. And he's like flown off and the ball's just stopped there. I've won the ball, turned with it. And then from there we created a counter attack. So I just feel so strong, man. It's weird, I've never kind of felt like this and there's so much more room for improvement. As you guys know, I want to continue to work on my weight, work on my strength. By no means am I where I want to be and I'll continue working on that. That counts for football as well. I want to be working, working, working to get to where I want to be. So to start off the day, we're going to be doing a little bit of wall juggling. As you can see, this is our sort of play area. We've got the Christmas tree, which was originally there. Moved it over there. So I got a little bit less space to juggle against the wall there. I don't know. Looks all right. I want to do about 25 minutes or so, kind of until I'm exhausted. And then I'll go from here, have a little bit of lunch, off to the gym, and then off to the mall with Lucy for a bit of shopping and whatnot. So, bit of wall juggling. Let's do it. I was so close. I was so, so close. 301. Damn, I just got the last. Ah, bugger. Oh man, I'm sweating bullets right now. It is hot as, and that was an intense little session. Man, that was tough. My back, everything, oh man. I might have to have a quick shower before I go to the gym, but that's my session done. Sweat is dripping everywhere. Let me know your guys' top score. I think my place is a little bit harder in my opinion, because you do have this thing here which you have to kick over, and then you don't have a whole lot of space. So look, if you have something similar to me, let me know what your score is. I think it's much easier if you can just sometimes kick below there, because then you can recover it and just keep going, but that's tough, man, super tough. Alrighty, arrived at the gym, made sure I did not forget my protein powder. I actually left the house and forgot it, drove back and made myself up one because I know how important it is to replenish my body after the session. So I have that straight after. I'm looking forward to this one. It's gonna be tough. It is not going to be easy. I know I'll be hurting tomorrow. I know I just gotta put my head down and get through this because this is where I need to improve most. So you know what? You just gotta have the positive mindset. If you don't have the positive mindset about something that's going to be tough whether it's fitness or gym or anything else in life where it's it's a tough sort of I don't know hour 30 minutes whatever it is if you don't have that positive mindset it's going to kill you whereas if you go in there and think okay I'm gonna kill this session it's all it's that self-confidence I've spoken to you guys about before so that's what I'm gonna go do I know it's gonna be tough but man oh man I'm gonna smash it so let's get in there let's kill this session Starting off, squats. I think this was about 110, 105. I can't exactly remember, but a lot of weight on there. Remember, these are quarter squats, and I only went for four because we're really looking for that muscle and power and not the long endurance reps. So I start, and that, uh, that 
throw me off a little. <laughs> and then the thing fell as I put it back on the rack. Then we move into some dumbbell bench press. Again, low reps. I think I did four sets of eight, six, four, four or something like that. So really just focusing on that lower rep, heavier weight ratio. And then to finish off, obviously I did a lot more, but we did some seated rows, just working on the back muscles there, heavier weights. I think this one I did nine reps of four sets. So absolute killer. Again, there's a heap of other stuff that you guys don't see, but overall really good gym session. Back on the weight, remember the phone's about 200 grams. 60. 4.8 or so, what does this one say? Well, that one doesn't work. Back in the car after that sesh, filled out the protein shake, got it here, I'm about to get that down. How do I feel about the weight? Look, I feel all right about it because we only did the gym session two days ago. I feel like the more I get into this, the more I have of these and the more food I eat, I will slowly progress. You can't just expect to gain five kilos in a week. It doesn't quite work like that. If I'm still 65 in, let's say a week, I should probably be 65 and a half around then. Then we're gonna have some problems because I know I'm doing something wrong. So 65 and a half will be the goal for around next week, about this time. And then we can't just keep progressing. Slowly we'll get there, slowly. It's not easy, it sucks. It really sucks. I just wanna be 68, bang, like that. But hey, when you're building a machine, takes time. It's just like finding a diamond. A lot of pressure. You don't find diamonds in a day. Diamonds take a long time to make and if you're gonna build yourself into a diamond, into a machine, into an amazing sort of vehicle that you're going to be on the field, you gotta put a lot of time into it. I know I'll get there, you just need to keep working. Overall, happy with that gym session. I'm killing, I'm dying. Muscles are fatigued, but it's good. It's a good sore. Shopping with Lou's done. I got a few things. The shorts that you guys can see here, this top some other random stuff in amongst here. I don't know, just a whole bunch of clothes. It was much needed and it was a gift card that I was given. I don't think I spent a single dollar of my own money today, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, we're heading down to Manly and then around the corner, this special spot. So I'm gonna whip out the drone and then also get some really cool cinematography shots. I love doing that sort of thing. It's just a fun hobby of mine. And we got Liz. Hello. Why are we going down? A little dinner. Cool dinner. Thing. I said snack. It's dinner, isn't it? Dinner. Are you hungry? Yeah, I'm starving. So I need I. food. So we're gonna head down there. Hopefully, got some cool shots. Let's do it. Slept too much. We go up and down. We go up and down. No, no, this roller coaster ride. Roller coaster ride. We fall back sometimes. We fall back sometimes. No, no, this roller coaster ride. In this roller coaster In this roller coaster ride smoothie here. I'm turning the TV on. Lucy's just in the other room. We're gonna watch this show called, oh, Narcos. I think most of you guys would know what Narcos or Narcos is. Some sort of like drug cartel or something. I don't know. We've watched one episode, but it's something along the lines of that. It looks really good. Making sure that I've got my smoothie in, it's super important. I haven't had this in a while simply because I've been out of routine, really poor by me. When I had those trials on, I was getting home at sometimes 10 o'clock and then having dinner which left no room for the smoothie and then my mind kind of went off it a little bit so not good enough need to keep it up I need to get back into that routine of having this as much as possible because this is where I'm really getting a whole heap of calories from eggs protein powder a whole heap of stuff so narcos narcos time looking forward to it man i'm really enjoying narcos narcos cool little tv series now lucy doesn't want to be on camera which is completely fine but i want to ask you guys i feel like a lot of you guys love seeing lucy on camera so when she comes on camera what do you want to see from her do you want to hear her talk about stuff because she's doing a lot of work at uni about psychology so she can talk about the mind do you want me to just film out interactions that sort of stuff let me know down in the comments below i'm super interested 
because if Lucy's not on camera for like a week, everyone's like, where's Lucy? Where's Lucy? Where's Lucy? But let me know down in the comments so that I can get that fixed for you guys to make these vlogs as good as possible. Massive video coming tomorrow. I can't wait. It's about the whole New Year's thing. I can't. It's going to be good. So make sure you subscribe and turn those notifications on so you don't miss it. But for now, Team Tweety, sign out. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Join the journey. I'll see you around. Bye.